to Mrs. Peach Thrifty Living. I'm so happy you're here today. Today is hashtag budget meals under five dollars. It is hosted by our friend Brenda at Maniac Grammy's Homestead. She's from Maine. Go over and check and see what she posts today and what everybody else posts in this wonderful collaboration. I'm going to include two recipes today. Both of them are fairly short and I wanted you to be able to see these. They're very easy and don't forget to check on budget meals under five dollars. These are both well under five dollars. So I'm going to put the my tuna one in first and then my rice broccoli casserole made in the rice cooker. I'm going to have an egg salad sandwich. I'm going to smash this up with my there you go one more little piece I'm gonna put in there. here you go quick lunch today of an egg salad sandwich put a little salt a little pepper uh, I love relish in mine a little squeeze of relish and it's okay how much put in because I like it I'm going to put a little squeeze of mustard in it also. Squeeze the mustard and then the mayo. And that's going to be good. I have a piece of um, sourdough bread toasting up, I should say. And look at that. Would you eat that? And I'll have that. Actually, with it's one piece of sourdough bread, but it's big. Now, I might have not needed to make this quite so liquidy, but it's okay if it oozes out. I'll pick it up and eat it with a spoon of my chip because I'm having chips with it. There's my chips. Yeah. The toast is almost done. And it will be lunch time. It's, what, almost two. Later on, I'll have a big salad with all the lettuces we had left over from our trip. Okay, I'm going to have my egg salad sandwich. Almost got it too juicy, but it's going to be good, you guys. That's one egg with a lot of other stuff in it. Salt, pepper, relish, mustard, with a side of potato chips on sour, extra sourdough bread. You can cut this with the scissors. Sometimes it works and sometimes this might ooze out. So I'm going to have to cut carefully. Let's see if I can do it like this. By the way, you see my band-aid? I decided to do a little owie. But it's okay. I got it covered up. Now, off to relax and eat that delicious sandwich. I'm back with another recipe. You know, it's getting hot now, so you don't want to put your oven on. So I pull my rice maker out. And I'm going to make, I was thinking, I hope this works. What I have here is my rice. I'll be putting in the rice maker along with some chopped carrots chopped mushrooms, and my broccoli. I'm going to put some minced onions in it. And I pulled this out. I'm going to put some cheese at the end. But I'm going to put a little of this ranch dressing in it. And we're going to see what happens. I'm thinking of, you know, the broccoli, rice, cheese, casseroles. They are so good. Well, this is kind of a spin on it, so... Okay, I have everything in there now besides my water. I have the carrots. And I put them, I put a couple, two, two uh, spoonfuls of this ranch in here. I put some salt and pepper. I'm going to put some water in it and let's see what happens. And later I'll put the cheese on. I didn't quite know whether that cheese would work at this point. So... I can't tell you that looks real appetizing right now, but let's see what happens. I make sure the little uh, 
steam hole is out this way where it won't uh, it go up the up here not in my cabinets and let's turn it on here we go now mine's very plain it only has on and warm okay it's cooking when it's done it'll go back to warm I'll be back Okay, I know you're not supposed to open this in the middle, but I wanted to see how it's doing. It's looking good, you guys. I'll be back. Okay, I went ahead and after about five minutes, I didn't wait till this went over to warm because it, it's getting to the point that it will be almost too much. And of course, it will still absorb some of it. I have just the rest of my grated cheese I'm going to put in here. I have some more cheese that I could grate, but I still have quite a bit of other cheese I'm going to throw in there too. You could leave this out if you didn't want the cheese in there. Of course, who doesn't like cheese? I just threw that in there, folded it up and threw it in, and then of course it will melt could put a little cheese on the top now this in a way is like gummy rice so some people might not like it but I'm gonna enjoy it I'm sure I put quite a bit of pepper in that when I tasted it I thought oh I got a lot of pepper in that but remember you always season this to your way now if you wanted to put some meat in here I bet you could put chicken in here, and this would be a complete meal if you wanted to, to have your meat in it. And I'll be back to uh, give it a taste test. And I'm back again. <laughs> Let's see, I don't even know what I've told you. I'm going to try my broccoli casserole made in the rice cooker. You know, you don't have to heat your your kitchen up so much when you do this so I'm gonna give this a try before I get my first bite in here I just want to tell you thank you for joining me today I hope you enjoyed this and this is not just a recipe for you to write down this is just ideas you know rice is cheap I guess it still is I've had my rice for a good little while I so I can't tell you exactly what it is. And um, my bag of broccoli from uh, Dollar Tree, a dollar and a quarter, and a few little carrots and a few little mushrooms that I had in the, well, I had the mushrooms in the freezer, a few of them. And so you've seen what I put in it. And the more cheese you put in it, the more you might like it. I, I have a little bit. I might put a little bit more in it. But I'm going to have to warm this up. I got a phone call and a lot of interruptions, it seemed like all of a sudden. And I'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Tomorrow is, tomorrow is hashtag new to me and I have a little something new to me. Plus I have some more things to put on here that, uh, put on there that I think you will enjoy. Be sure and go back and check my playlist in the past and what I've done recently and oh, I need to put this back in the microwave now because it's been cooled off mm. Mm -hmm. that's really good you guys a lot of good flavor very good now if you hear some miles uh, popping in the background we live not too far from the, a little airport, and I hear they have a shooting range out there. <laughs> I'm gone. See you tomorrow. Don't forget Jesus loves you.